guys, this is here again with another video of the Soundtrack series consoles. We're looking at the Soundtrack Inline 3632. This particular one has got 36 modules. It's an inline desk, so it doesn't have groups. So every module can be an input and an output. So if I'd like to zoom in over here, I'll just quickly go through what was available. We've got the normal switches at the top, 48 volts phantom for the mics. Got a phase switch, pad and line mic switch there. There's your mic line gain. There's your tape gain, which is like the returns from the multi-track, so it'll be like mix B if you like, tape return. And moving down, this is going to be the channel uh, EQ, so it'll be for mic and line in. Very comprehensive, got four band with cues on here, so it's very similar to the Jade EQ, in fact, this one. This was the desk before the Jade. So I won't go too deeply into it, but as you can see, if you should be able to get any kind of balance going with these EQ here. Got plenty of scope. We've got an EQ in out button there. We've got um, the monitor there. We can basically share the EQ between the monitor input and the channel mic input. So basically using that switch there we can have on the mix B input which would be this one we can share some of this EQ. Okay so you can switch it between the two. Uh, also on here we've got a um, eight auxiliary sends. Uh, that's one, two, it's just a stereo. Got three and four, which are mono, five, six, seven, eight. So the Jade actually has got 12, uh, this one's got eight. All got, um, you can put them on the monitors or on the channel using these mon switches, and we can have them all pre or post fade. So pretty comprehensive uh, auxiliary section there. Uh, keep on the channel, this is the main fader here. We've got the mute obviously, we've got the solo, we've got pan, we've got left, right, a sign which goes to the mix. These are our buses. Although it's a 32 bus desk, there's actually only 16 available at one time. So uh, in the up position that will be going to 1 and 2. If I press the bounce button, that will be going to 17, 18. So it's just a way of doubling up, assuming you wouldn't go to more than 16 places at one go. So those are the group routing buttons. Um, I've done solo, I've done mute, it's got peak light there. Moving on now, we can come and look at the mix B input or the monitor input. This is the, the uh, level, it's on the rotary pot. Here's the pan. And again, we've got solo, mute, left, right, which is the mix. Now, you can flip the inputs as with all desks. There's the reverse switch there. So this is now on this gain pot there. Um, this is just so you can, depending on what stage of the process you are, you can either come through the big, main big fader or through the rotary pot. So completely flexible input there. Moving on to the master module. This particular desk has got has a stereo fader fitted. They normally have a left and right, but the, the client wanted a stereo fader, so I put that in for him. Uh, so there's your main fader. These are the um, sources. Obviously left, right is all the channels coming in. Left, right mix. You've got four two track returns, A, B, C and D. We can listen to the auxiliaries here, the eight auxiliaries. We can listen to an extension which is off the patch bay. We can mono the signal. This is the control room now we're looking at. So we can mono and we listen to the left or the right. There is the output A level. So that's going to be speaker A. And then we listen to Alt, there will be speaker B. So two sets of speakers. That's A, hit the Alt button, that's B. We've got a dim there, uh, which is actually a gain. You can actually change the gain of the dim, you know, the sensitivity if you like. Um, we've got the PFL there. You've got normal mono, um, solo. If we hit the PFL button, we've got the um, in-place solo, as you can see there. So. If it was a normal mono solo mode, you just hit a solo, listen to it down the center. In PFL, we will listen to it and we can pan the solo effectively. So we can placement hi-hats and so forth. We can press in the stereo mix. Right, so that's the main control room. This is the for your main speakers, A and B. There's a mute there. Now this section here is for the studio. So there's a studio feed on the back of the desk. This is for the musicians. And again, we've got, we can send them the mix, we can send them any of the two tracks, A to D, we can send them the auxes, we can mono it even for them, we can send them our extension inputs, external rather. 
that's the studio level which means studio where the musicians are there's your mute there's a very basic master muting system on here if you go over to here we can actually have a mute on the monitor or the fader the big fader and by using these little uh, master muting here so that would be master mute one so any of them that were selected with these one buttons would be muted and any with two would be on mute two like that okay so it's very simple it's like midi muting but just only two channels actually uh, moving up, these are our master auxiliaries, one to eight there, as in any normal desk. A uh, little talkback section there, that just relates to the talkback where you want to send it. You can send it to the phone's output, uh, which is on the back. There isn't a phone's on the top of this board, it only comes out the rear on the EDAX, so that would have to go to a headphone amp. You can send the, uh, aux the uh, talkback to the auxiliaries, all of the buses, or to the groups and to left and right of course and dir relates to talk back actually on the patch bay which is there that's direct out i don't know why you need that but you can send that some you can patch it in somewhere also on here we've got a little onboard oscillator so uh, which is quite nifty for just testing signals if we send that to group for instance i can um, if we had all these tapes up here i've already checked this desk the desk has been thoroughly serviced everything is working and sounds fantastic oscillator basically will be sent to the groups on the group buses or you can send it to the patch bay here there's oscillator out there i will have the oscillator in my hand if i press dir on there so I've got oscillator on 1k dir direct so i can bring that into say channel 36 which is there bring that up and there it is so this is a good way of checking the patch bay. You can check all of your outboard, your gates, compressors and so forth using this system, use the oscillator. And as you know, with the patch bay like this, you have all of these tie lines here. This The customer before had all of these um, if outboard effects. He had compressors, gates and so forth. So you can use the oscillator to check the signal going in and out of the gate. You know, it's a, it's a constant signal. Um, let me just go back to the master module. Studio, I've done studio. Phones, there's even a little phone section sourcing here. Look as well. So this would be the phones out, which is on the EDAC on the back. You can send the auxiliaries down there. You can send the monitor level, which is the rotary pot as opposed to the mix. Okay, so that can be the phones. We've got studio, we've got phones. And we've got two master um, control room A and control room B. So, as you can see, very comprehensive master section here. There's nothing you can't do with this, I'm sure, in any situation in the control room. This desk would have been about 35 grand in, um, I think it was the late 80s they finished making, about 88, 90. But everything is still functioning. The pots are great. Very rarely have to change these pots, really good. And the desk has been serviced and will be guaranteed by Studio Systems, of course. Um, patch Bay. We've got this normal patch bay here, I don't think you're familiar with them, but you'll have the channel line in. We've got the monitor in, which is like mix B or tape return. You've got inserts on the channel, send and return, and then direct out on there. This relates to the multi-track external, so that would be send to the multi-track, that's return to the, from the multi-track. There's some normalising going on there, I won't go too deeply into that. I've just briefly explained the tie lines here. These are the 96 tie lines for your outboard. Uh, on the master section we've got a little two track send, so this relates literally to the input to the two tracks, so it's these recorders and things like that, and these are the returns back from those mastering machines. We've got our mix left and right if we want to take it from there, obviously it comes out on the patch, but on the EDAC on the back. There's your mix inserts left and right, oscillator out, I showed you that, and talk back there. These are just another couple of external ins which will be picked up on this button here. This, uh, on. Parallels are useful if you want to send a signal to multiple places. These are the auxes. This is the relates to the aux um, send. So these are the one to eight. So you can over patch the aux is if you want to. If you want to change your mind about whether you direct the uh, destination of the aux send. This one here is uh, just for the effects returns module. This this particular desk doesn't have effects returns module. It has 36 inputs two inputs per strip so you've got 72 in there um, just go around the back here it's probably a bit dark but uh, just um, is it, can you see the edax yeah as you can see 
I don't know whether you can see it, it's probably a bit dark, but you've got masses of ins and outs on the back. There are cables with this desk, but we'll have to talk about those. I've got a set of about seven that I can uh, include with the desk. Um, that is the soundtracks in line 36. I've been dealing with these desks since they came out. I was putting them in new um, many, many years ago, 27 years ago. Still going strong, lovely sound, lots of people have used these, done lots of hit records on the inline um, series. There's a 36 and a 48. Uh, like I say, it's just the one just below the jade. So, I mean, if you're looking for a desk, you haven't got the money for a jade or can't find you a jade, they're difficult to get hold of, then this would be your second choice because this has got everything the jade has. Uh, it doesn't have the automation, doesn't have the dynamics of the jade and it's got four auxes less but for the source of money this would be about half what a jade would cost you and yet we do 90 percent of what a jade will do so great choice of desk well thanks very much for watching again another video from studio systems see you later